Right, today we're going to take a look at the Sergeant Major Zeroid um, large die-cast version from the Terrorhawks line of toys based on uh, Jerry Anderson's Terrorhawks from 1983. Uh, Sergeant Major Zeroid was one of the major Zeroids from the show and was released in two versions, the smaller 3 and 3 quarter inch figure here on the left and this larger die-cast version um, that came boxed uh, with a uh, well in this case one accessory the ships came with a few more uh, you in the box you'd get sergeant major zeroid and a small plastic terrorhawks badge um, that you could clip on your clothing it doesn't even have a pin on it it's just a small plastic thing sergeant major uh, zeroid here um, is made of a mixture of die cast metal and plastic the base is m mainly metal and the character is mainly plastic uh, you can close the eye holes uh, like he does in the show here. There you go, eyes shut and eyes open. Uh, this toy ha has a sort of feature which is a wind up mechanism. You, you wind him up by twisting the base and there's a release catch on the base there. Um, and let me just close his eyes. If you press the button he will launch off of the base and roll around under his own steam. This feature is a little bit on the iffy side it does work but not particularly well let me try getting this guy going there you go you can see it moves about under its own steam uh, in a sort of random motion there's a the the wind up mechanism winds up an off-centered weight inside him so he sort of rolls around randomly um, sort of kind of kind of a neat feature but uh, not exactly amazing and if you're buying these loose uh, be warned they this the uh, wind up mechanism breaks very easily so nine times out of ten you'll buy a loose one and it will be broken um, it can be fixed it's a bit fiddly I will run through fixing it in a separate uh, video um, when I get another one that's in my collection that is broken um, easily clips back onto the uh, stand there um, for display purposes these are quite nice figures uh, to get especially considering the size of it um, there's quite a lot of detail in the in the molding um, some of it's just done with stickers like this this sort of middle strip here most of it is molded into the toy um, the one sort of disappointing thing with this is that they chose to do a very specific character so he's got his sergeant major stripes here in my mind it would have been nicer just to do a generic Xeroid so that you could sort of army build them uh, with the sergeant stripes on it's fairly obvious that they're all the same and in the show there were, were hundreds and hundreds of Xeroids so uh, army building would seem to be quite a nice thing to do overall very nice figure um, fairly easy to come by really uh, they, they turn up on eBay pretty often um, but just be warned if you're buying them make sure to ask the seller if the wind-up mechanism works because uh, without it the head uh, ends up being very floppy on the stand doesn't look very good so uh, yeah just just be warned on that overall a very nice figure and I would sort of highly recommend getting these because they do look very nice on display um, and not many people remember this show so uh, it's a good talking point <laughs>